What up everybody, Mark Fusco here from Behind the Green Screen, the channel where I cover every aspect of how I make my Wine World TV show. If you like what I'm doing here, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and tell all your friends to do the same. That's going to really help getting this channel to grow. All right, so back in May 2020, I came up with the idea of doing a behind the scenes kind of channel. The goal was to use all of my experience and knowledge making videos and showing you how I do what I do. Now, there are a ton of these kinds of channels on YouTube, and many of them are named behind the scenes or something similar. I put out 11 videos over a three month period covering a few topics. Around the time of my last video, I came up with the idea of rebranding my wine channel 1337 Wine to Wine World TV. I stopped production of that channel for a couple months while I worked out that channel's new direction. That also meant I stopped this channel. I've had several months now to think about whether I want to continue with creating videos, teaching people how to do videos, especially since this can be yet another tips, tricks, and tutorials channel. Like, How do I stand out? How do I show people something different? Especially if I'm not reviewing the latest and greatest gear that probably hundreds of channels are doing, and that's how they get all their views. I somewhat touched upon that in those older videos. I covered some general concepts and reviewed gear that doesn't get much attention, especially some older gear. Most of those videos got a smattering of views. One or two, one or two did pretty decent, but what I did learn over these few months with WWTV is to become more succinct in my shows. So that's what I'll be bringing to the table here. Yes, I've taken down all the prior videos, even my most successful one about my main travel tripod. And I'll rehash most of those same topics from earlier videos. This time I'll have better script writing, better editing, and better overall content. So what's up with the name change? Well, I kept thinking about a new name. Behind the green screen is a good name. It's not a name commonly used. It reflects what I do here at home since I sit in front of a green screen for the majority of my WWTV episodes. Yeah, it doesn't describe what I do outside my house. And while those are a minority of what I do, they are also important to me. Think of my use of green screen as the equivalent of veil or a curtain like The Wizard of Oz. I thought about using behind the curtain, but green screen is a better analogy. And just like my rebranding of 1337 wine to WWTV, I came up with a standardized look and feel, a color palette, fonts, logo, on-screen graphics. I have music, in my notes, but I'm really probably not going to have too much music at this point. But you know, something that behind the scenes really never had was a standardized set of these things. Okay, Mark, what exactly is this channel going to cover? Well, I'm glad you asked. The concept of tips, tricks, and tutorials really hasn't changed. I'll be covering a wide range of topics. And while I may not be able to list every single kind of thing I'm, I'll be doing, here is a good long list to start. All right, so using smartphones, specifically iPhones, audio equipment, audio editing and software, audio techniques, audio tips, tricks and challenges, video editing, so focusing on Final Cut Pro, video tips, tricks and challenges, video equipment other than smartphones, video techniques, traveling tips and tricks such as things to avoid, being smart, what equipment to bring, traveling light, best practices, online resources, navigating airports, digital apps, planning your day, border passport control, lodging, food and drink, travel philosophy, getting the interview, using Skype or Zoom, I prefer Skype, various tips and tricks on using these platforms, interview techniques, interview styles, overall preparedness, product research, scripting versus notes versus just going ad lib, using drones, using Google Earth Pro or Studio. I, I, I know I listed a ton of stuff, I have a ton of potential episodes already listed from months ago, and I'll easily be able to have a ton of content. The idea is not to be yet another gear show, but to focus on what I already have or things I eventually acquired that I actually use. This is truly a hands-on kind of channel. If I get contacted by companies to do a review of their product or service, then I'll happily do it with the same level of professionalism I do on WWTV. Many of the channels I follow also combine the reviews with vlogging. I don't plan on going down that path in this channel. If it makes sense to use something in that way, then I can see doing it. But using this channel as a way to look into, oh, quote, life with Mark is not the goal. That concept is for another time and place that may start this year too. Maybe sooner rather than later. So get ready for some cool stuff. Get ready for a fresh perspective on teaching people how to put out amazing video content regardless of the subject matter. I'm excited to talk about these things to a new audience. 
If you happen to be a wine enthusiast or even in the adult beverage industry, then please check out my Wine World TV channel. And that's going to wrap up this episode. Make sure you click that subscribe button and like this video if you're getting value out of this. And I'll see you next time.